hello the intrinsic muscles of the hand are designed for the fine and precision movements of your hand and the area of the hand movements in the motor cortex of the brain is very extensive and these intrinsic muscles of the hand are you have a, a, a thinner group of muscles a hypothenar group of muscles we have lumbrical muscles dorsal introsci and the palmar introsci okay so this thinner muscles which includes the flexor pollicis brevis the abductor pollicis brevis opponent's pollicis and the deeperly we have adductor pollicis and moving on to the hypothenar muscles we have the palmaris brevis muscle flexor digiti minimi abductor digiti minimi and opponent's digiti minimi these are the hypothenar group and same way we have four lumbricals four palmar introsci muscles and four dorsal introsci muscles there are 20 muscles you see in the intrinsic muscles of the hand so i will demonstrate uh, these muscles on the cadaver first i'll discuss about the thinar muscles as i mentioned you thinar muscles uh, like you know we have uh, uh, abductor pollicis brevis flexor pollicis brevis opponent's pollicis and deeper plane we have the adductor pollicis so this muscle this is the abductor pollicis brevis this one so this is abductor pollicis brevis and this muscle if you see the origin and its insertion this takes origin from the flexor retinaculum it takes origin from the tubercles of scaphoid and the trapezium uh, which are the bones of the carpal bones and this muscle is inserted onto the radial side of the base of the proximal phalanx and action of this muscle you know it is an abductor of the thumb so this is the flexor pollicis brevis this flexor pollicis brevis is medial to abductor pollicis brevis and you know it arises from two heads the superficial head will be arising from the flexor retinacula and also from the crest of the trapezium and the deep head will take uh, origin from trapezoid and the capitate bone and insertion if you see it is inserted onto the uh, radial side of the base of the proximal phalanx it is inserted and uh, the action of this is it is the flexor of the proximal phalanx of the thumb and it is innervated by the uh, what do you call the recurrent branch of the uh, median nerve so that is about this is the flexor uh, pollicis brevis now deep to these muscles we have this muscle yeah this one now this is the opponent's pollicis this opponent's pollicis as i said it is deep to adduct, uh, abductor pollicis brevis yes this is abductor pollicis brevis once i reflect this you can see this muscle this is opponent's pollicis this opponent's pollicis will arise from the flexor retinacula the crest of trapezium and this muscle is inserted onto the lateral half of uh, the shaft of the first metacarpal bone and the action of this is it flexes and rotates the first metacarpal bone to help in uh, making the action of opposition of the thumb and uh, this is the adductor pollicis this adductor pollicis is you know this is a deeper muscle beneath the flexor tendons and the lumbrical muscles and this muscle has got uh, two heads one this is oblique head and this is the transverse head the transverse head arises from the palmar surface of the third metacarpal bone whereas oblique head will arise from the base of the second and third metacarpal bones and both these heads will get inserted they converge into a tendon for the insertion on to the ulnar side of the base of the proximal phalanx of the thumb and the nerve supply will be by the deep branch of ulnar nerve this one now this is the deep branch of ulnar nerve which will be innervating this muscle which is adductor pollicis action of this muscle is it you know it approximates the thumb towards index finger so it's an uh, adductor pollicis now this is all about the thinar muscles now i move on to the hypothenar the hypothenar muscles these hypothenar muscles you know the most superficial muscle will be the palmaris brevis muscle which is inserted onto the dermis which is subcutaneous muscle and next we have this muscle this is the abductor digiti minimi this abductor digiti minimi is most medial muscle of uh, the hypothenar group and this will arise from the pisiform bone and also from the tendon of the flexor carpi ulnaris and this muscle is inserted onto the uh, base of the proximal phalanx of the little finger 
and this is innervated by the deep branch of ulnar nerve next we have this muscle this is the flexor digiti minimi this one lateral to this abductor digiti minimi this muscle yeah this is the flexor digiti minimi muscle uh, uh, it arises from the flexor retinacula and from the hook of the hamet and get inserted onto the ulnar side of the base of the proximal phalanx of the little finger and deep to this now deep to this muscle i'll cut this muscle i'm cutting the flexor digiti minimi now once i cut the flexor digiti minimi you can see this muscle yeah so this is the opponent's opponent's digiti minimi this is opponent's digiti minimi and this is this is uh, this takes origin from the flexor retinacula and from the hook of the hamet and this muscle is inserted this muscle is inserted uh, to the ulnar side of the palmar surface of the shaft of the fifth metacarpal bone and all these uh, hypothenar muscles are innervated by the deep branch of the ulnar nerve these are the hypothenar muscles now coming on to the lumbrical muscles the lumbrical muscles there are four in number the numbering will be from lateral to medial side so this is first lumbrical this is second lumbrical this is third and this is fourth lumbrical muscles the lumbrical muscles are uh, a worm like muscles which will take origin from the tendons of the flexor digitorum profundus so the first and second lumbrical muscles they are unipinnate and they arise from the radial side of the tendons moving to the index finger and uh, to the middle finger and the third and fourth lumbrical muscles are the bipinnate muscles and these will arise from the either sides of the tendons of middle finger ring finger and the little finger now the insertion as i mentioned these muscles will end up in a narrow tendon and they get inserted into the uh, dorsal digital expansions okay next nerve supply like you know the first and second lumbrical muscles they are supplied by the uh, median nerve and whereas the third and fourth lumbrical muscles are supplied by the deep branch of ulnar nerve and the action of these lumbrical muscles like you know they are uh, they flexes the digits at the metacarpophalangeal joint and extension at the interphalangeal joints so this is all about the lumbrical muscles now moving on to the introsci muscles introsci muscles we have two one is the palmar introsci muscle these are the palmar introsci muscles and the dorsal introsci muscle you see on the dorsum of the hand so this palmar introsci muscle you know these are the unipinnate muscles and these palmar introsci muscles uh, like you know they take origin from the first palmar introsci muscle will take origin from the ulnar side of the first metacarpal bone second introsci from the ulnar side of the second metacarpal bone the third and the fourth introsci will be arising from the radial side of the shaft of the fourth and fifth metacarpal bones respectively and all these introsci muscles uh, are inserted partly into the base of the proximal phalanx of corresponding digits and partly into the dorsal digital expansions and the action of this palmar introsci muscles they are the adductors of the fingers and acts as the flexors of metacarpophalangeal joint and moving on to the nerve supply of this palmar introsci muscle these palmar introsci muscles uh, are innervated by the deep branch of the ulnar nerve this is all about the palmar introsci muscles